Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a collective haul of some really beautiful basic winter pieces and these are going to be things that I'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of over the winter months both this year and in years to come. Here in the UK winter really starts to get cold and sometimes even snowy and really frosty in the first few months of the year, January, February and March. It was last March that we had so much snow and I've actually just returned from the mountains so all I can think about is those cosy knitwear pieces that you just want to snuggle up in and look fabulous at the same time. So the majority of these pieces are from two retailers, it is And Other Stories, and if you've been here on my channel for a little while you might remember my autumn fashion edit and I did an autumn basics haul as well, featuring lots of And Other Stories pieces and you guys love that video so this is going to be the winter version. And then also of course my favourite, Reese, they always have some beautiful basic investment pieces for each season. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, actually you know what I'm gonna start with the top that I'm wearing right now I saw this top on Netta Porter it was in sale and it is from Chloe Chloe is a brand that I absolutely adore and really aspire to so when I saw this in the sale I just had to snap it up it's very plain and simple I love the color it's got a little bit of elasticated detail down here at the bottom it's a very very soft pink color it's looking a little bit more beige on camera but it is pink and then it has these really voluminous balloon sleeves I'm just absolutely smitten with it I love how it looks with a pair of light trousers, the trousers that I'm wearing now. In fact, the trousers that I'm wearing now, um, let me pan the camera down a little bit, hopefully not revealing too much mess on the floor. But these are from Reese, yes I'm wearing my slippers, um, and, and they are so comfortable, they're quite elasticated. They, these are like a lilac shade, but the reason why I mention them is firstly they are my most worn trousers of all time. Yes, they're probably my most worn trousers of all time. I wear them just lounging around the house on days like today when I'm filming. I wear them to travel, I wore them a couple of days ago to and from Geneva. I basically get so much use out of these. The lilac colour hasn't come back in stock, however they have a new shade in Reese called Tyne. I'll pop a picture of them on the screen here and I just ordered them this morning as soon as I saw them because if I get even a fraction of the amount of use that I have out of these trousers then I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. So sadly I don't have them here to show you but I'm pretty sure they're the exact same as this but in a really beautiful sagey moss green shade which is very on trend for 2019. So that's what I'm wearing today and now let's move on to And Other Stories. Okay pre-warning this is gonna be a lot of knitwear but I couldn't resist and I always think that and other stories has a really good price versus quality ratio. This is the first jumper and I'm so pleased that I saw this. I don't know if you guys remember me mentioning in a video a little while ago that I'd fallen so in love with the jumper from Club Monaco but then when I looked at the price tag it was about £500 mad, which was just much more than I was willing to pay for that jumper. So when I saw this, and it is so so similar, almost identical in fact, I was absolutely thrilled. This one was £69 and it's a really lovely mix of cotton, um, wool, alpaca and elastane. So it's a really nice mixture of materials as well. So the colours are very very me indeed, I think I'll probably wear this for the rest of the day. It's so gorgeous, it's got a beautiful light pink rib detail around the neckline and then you've got this square pattern of the light pink and the white and then the light pink down the sleeves and along the bottom there as well. So basically my dream colour combination, the types of colours that I wear all the time. So this for me is pretty much a dream piece of knitwear. I love the high neck, I love the big baggy sleeves, it's going to be so so comfortable, nice and thick as well and because of this high neck it does mean I can wear a thermal underneath. As you may know I mention thermals quite a lot, I will leave my thermal recommendations down below. I've just started trying Uniqlo thermals as well. I wore them in the mountains earlier this week and I was toasty warm all the time so Uniqlo and Marks and Spencers I would say are my go-to for winter thermals which if you're watching this video to get some inspiration for winter basics you should definitely add thermals to your list as well. Next up is a 100% cashmere jumper in this beautiful brown shade with a roll neck at the top. For me, this is a really classic, simple, timeless thing to add to your winter wardrobe, an absolute basic in my opinion. If you want to look sophisticated and feminine yet smart at the same time, then I think a roll neck is a real wardrobe essential. There are so many ways of styling roll necks. I think that once you get one, you quickly realise how versatile they are and you find yourself wearing them over and over again, especially during the cold the days so a roll neck is most definitely something to invest in and and a high quality material like cashmere keeps you so warm it feels so luxurious and it really does look absolutely beautiful as well as I mentioned with and other stories being very good when it comes to price versus quality 119 pounds for a 100% cashmere jumper 
and it looks to be beautiful quality in my opinion is very good indeed I do have a slightly darker roll neck in my collection already but this one looked to be a little bit more loose fitting a little bit more relaxed fit so I can see this working with lots of different outfit combinations including the item I have to show you next so this is a pair of culottes and these were styled with the cashmere roll neck on the stories website and it looked so beautiful I thought I absolutely have to try it usually this would not actually be an essential for me or a wardrobe basic however I've seen so many girls on Instagram and in real life styling this kind of wide-legged culotte style cotton trouser and they look so stylish with a pair of low sunglasses maybe even my Fendi ones I think this will look absolutely beautiful and so so chic as well as being warm and I think this type of item will transition into summer really well too these were £69 that seems to be a very popular price level with and other stories they cinch in a little bit at the waist you've got a little bit of detail on the waist love these total style effect um, buttons and then you've got some flattering shaped pockets on the bum as well this wide leg style is a little bit different for me but I am trying to get a little bit more creative with my style and I think and other stories absolutely nail it when it comes to pieces that are very on trend and chic but still classic and timeless which is exactly what you want for a winter basic piece. Another jumper next and this one is really fun it's got these little pom-pom bubbles all the way over the top of it I actually think of the Zimmerman jumper I don't know if you guys know the one that I mean if I can I'll find a picture and pop it on the screen now but I've been lusting over this particular Zimmerman jumper for quite a long time and as far as I can tell, the only real difference is that the Zimmer one has this tight section at the bottom up to about two thirds up the arm, which gives a real voluminous, um, almost padded shoulder effect, which again is a big trend for 2019. But the Zimmerman one I think is probably approaching the £700 mark, uh, while this one is a tenth of that price at £69, so much better. This is alpaca and wool mix, so a tiny bit itchy, I have to say it is a little bit itchy. So if you are sensitive to different materials, then beware. Um, but I think that this will be okay again with a thermal on underneath, and it's so beautiful that I'm definitely willing to risk it. So yes, very excited to style this. And I think this is going to be a really nice way of jazzing up a simple pair of jeans. Or I could even style this with one of my lovely midi skirts. This is the beautiful one that I'm obsessed with at the moment from Topshop. I think that will be a really lovely outfit combination. Love the light shade with these kind of chocolatey brown colours. But personally, a white knit with a little bit of personality, a little bit of fun, is really beautiful and versatile basic piece for a winter wardrobe. Seriously, and other stories are just killing it when it comes to beautiful, basic, super wearable knits at the moment. I also had to try this one. I love the neckline on this, really like this kind of high, it's not a roll neck, what would you call this, um, funnel neck maybe? I always get so confused, there's so many different neckline types, but this is very very nice for those really chilly days. Personally I also <laughs> struggle with getting my face and my neck the same colour because I do use fake tan, um, so this is often a great way of just dashing out of the house and no one thinking I'm a crazy woman with different coloured skin. A nice uh, thickness of sleeve, not too tight and not too loose and baggy, and it really is just a simple, plain jumper that, as you can imagine, just has so many different uses and ways of being styled in a winter wardrobe, so a true basic piece. I will pop a little video clip of me trying it on and styling it on the screen now. Let me know in the comments below how you like to style your basic cream knits as well, because I always think there are so many different ways of doing it, as well as the obvious jeans and a jumper kind of combination. And then I also wanted to try a piece of cropped knitwear. Again, this was styled so beautifully on the website. So this is the jumper that I went for, a very, very plain white knit. This was 45 pounds so more affordable than the others and it really doesn't have any design detail at all it's just a very plain simple stitch detail going down the sleeves down the bodice as well fairly loose on the sleeves so this hopefully is going to look really nice with something high-waisted high-waisted pleated skirt high-waisted jeans that kind of thing not 100% sure if I'll keep it because it's not like anything that I do own but I did want to mix up my winter basics so let me know what you think of the trial clip and then the final piece of knitwear from and other stories is this beautiful 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 jumper it was £49. It is a mohair blend, so again, a little bit itchy, but no prizes if you guess why I picked up this jumper. The colour. The colour is so beautiful. It's so me. I just adore this dusty rose kind of taupey, muted pink. It's so, so gorgeous. I think it goes so well with my skin tone. It works so well with the other items in my wardrobe, and it's it's just absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing to it when it comes to design detail. Very, very plain and simple. Just a classic cuff on the bottom of the sleeve. Same with the bottom of the jumper. But yeah, I mean, these two shades of pink and white are my dream palette. And I don't believe I have another plain jumper in this kind of shade. So yes, 
welcome to my winter basics collection. Finally from And Other Stories, super plain roll neck. This is £27, nice and affordable. I wear these pretty much on a daily basis. As I mentioned earlier with the first kind of roll neck type top, they're so versatile, they look so elegant, so sophisticated. There are so many ways of styling a simple roll neck like this. If you want to wear straight leg jeans and a statement belt and this, so so chic, hair in a low bun, that kind of thing. Or again with a satin skirt, they look absolutely gorgeous together, or with a pleated skirt. You could even wear something like this underneath a thicker jumper as another layering piece. So versatile, fabulous quality from And Other Stories, and a great price at £27. Okay, so now I'm going to mention a few Reese pieces, and these have been in my wardrobe for just over a week, and I'm already absolutely loving them. This first one is... This is one piece that I think is going to be the kind of item that I reach for time and time and time again and I have a feeling it's going to be a hit with you guys as well. There are always some key pieces and I monitor the sales from the clicks from the description box down below and from my Instagram so I really like to be on top of what you guys are loving as much as what I'm loving and I just have a prediction that this is going to be a real big hit with you guys. So it's basically a roll neck dress colour is not looking too true on the camera but it is a very dark moss green unlike anything I have in my wardrobe it's a little bit out there for me to wear something so dark but I think for work or for pleasure for days out with friends or for I just think this is so so versatile it has so many different ways and occasions to wear it as well as being lovely and warm the shape of it as you can see is straight down but then it does have this beautiful flippy hem and it's not too short either but this can be worn with black tights thermal tights a thermal top underneath you can really layer it up. I think this would look gorgeous with a gilet as well. And in fact, if you just like the skirt part of this, you could even wear a chunky knit over the top and make it look like a jumper and skirt combination as well. But given how chic it is and how comfortable it is, and you guys know I absolutely love a one-piece outfit such as this, I truly think I'm going to get so much wear out of this. So stay tuned on my Instagram, in my vlogs, because I think you're going to be seeing this piece a lot. Speaking of pieces that you'll be seeing a lot, next is this beautiful coat from Reese. Again, if you've been around on my channel for a long time, you may remember my Reese Lawson coat. Very, very similar in structure to this, but it was lined and a little bit thicker, or is lined. I still have it, still wear it loads. This is kind of the more mild winter version, I would say, because it's not lined, but because of this wool fabric, it is still very, very warm, especially if you're wearing your thermal and then a jumper or even the dress that I showed you previously. I went for a size four. I'm between a size four and a six, which I believe is a US zero, and I find that that size in most things in Reese fits me perfectly. Silhouette-wise, it's got this kind of beautiful waterfall detail around the lapel and then this belt around the waist to really cinch it in and get that beautiful feminine silhouette. Totally classic colour, classic shape, not going to be going out of style anytime soon. This is a definition of a beautiful winter basic piece. And finally, it really wouldn't be a winter basics haul video from me without mentioning over knee boots. These are a new pair from Reese. I think it's taken Reese a little while to get on the over knee boot bandwagon. Karen Millen have been doing it for a couple of years and many other retailers with a similar price point but as far as I'm aware these are the first over knee boots of this kind that Reese have done and I absolutely love them as you saw in the outfit clips for the dress and the coats. I've worn them all together and absolutely love them as a little combination. If you found the over knee boots that I've previously recommended a little bit high or hard to walk in, these could be the ones for you because they've got a very low block heel. Just enough to give you a height boost but still really comfortable and really, really easy to walk in. They don't have any zips so they're very quick and easy to pull on and off and I do find them nicely elasticated so they are actually easy to pull on and off. And the most important thing in my opinion when it comes to over knee boots is that they don't drop down and go all saggy around the ankles. I honestly think there is nothing worse than having to hoik your over knee boots up when you're marching around from A to B on your very busy day. Again, a very, very classic colour. This is a super versatile grey shade that does go with so many different things in most people's wardrobes. It's on the monochrome scale, so it's very, very easy to mix and match, no matter what colour combination your wardrobe mostly consists of. So I hope you'll agree that that is a really wonderful selection of winter basics. I'm so excited to get loads of use out of these pieces and they're all super quality, super classic and timeless designs which is what I'm all about and they are going to stay in my collection for many, many years to come. That is what I look for in this slightly kind of premium high street area when it comes to buying my basics and my investment pieces. I'd love to know if you guys are thinking of investing in any of these yourself or what your favourite winter basic is. Is there a piece that you go back to year after year, something that makes you feel fabulous every single time you wear it or maybe it's just your most worn piece like, like my trousers and 
that I'm wearing now. But as I mentioned, everything will be linked in the description box down below. So if you'd like to shop anything, all the information will be down there. If you are new to my channel or haven't done so yet, then please hit the subscribe button. My current goal, although it is very optimistic, but my current goal is to hit 400,000 subscribers. That sounds mad. Um, by Valentine's Day. I know it's really optimistic, but we can do it. If you want to give me a Valentine's Day gift, then why not let a friend know about my channel um, and see if they enjoy watching it as well. But yeah, that is all from me. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye. Keep on talking to me. Don't you leave.